It has been a while since I have sat here to start a video. As you guys know, I have been in Texas for about four and a half months and Romeo has been going back and forth because we've been renovating our house there. We've made so much progress. We've been doing so much of it ourselves. We've saved so much money and saved so much of the original house, but I needed a little bit of a break. I needed to come back home. I was getting a little homesick and we're doing a room makeover. So that's fun. If you guys caught part one of this kind of two part makeover, I went to the Rose Bowl. I haven't been in a year and a half. So I was on a mission to find specific things for this room makeover uh, so that we could just make it super super, super special. So go check that out if you haven't already so you can see some of the things that I found. We are doing a laundry room makeover. After going through the renovation process in Texas on our house, I realized that the laundry room here in LA could just have a better layout for not only us, but for future tenants to live here. Right off of our kitchen and our breakfast nook, you turn and there's no door. So I put this curtain when we redid the breakfast area to kind of muffle the sound of the washer and dryer to our laundry room. I'm kind of, I'm so embarrassed. It ain't it. It's actually a really good size laundry room. I mean, it's not super tiny. It's not huge either, but it's a really good size. It's just incredibly underutilized. Over the years that we've lived here, it's just become storage where things just get shoved. Oftentimes we're just stepping over things to get to the laundry. So these cabinets, two up top, two on bottom that are larger, you would think would be great storage, but no, it's for the hot water heater. So it's just a cabinet to close that up so it doesn't look so bad or it's not exposed in the space and to protect it. So there is already limited built-in storage in the space. There's just this one drawer and one cabinet and kind of a countertop that's here. So because we have a lack of storage in here, we just have this Ikea cabinet. We just put all of our detergent and light bulbs and candles, and cleaning products, all of that type of stuff kind of just gets put on here. So I would love to have some storage for all of this stuff that is over here. I wish that there was enough room between the cabinet and the wall to actually put the washer and dryer side by side. These are two inches too wide. So nothing's on this wall but our breaker box. And then right here, you go outside to the back door. We can't really block this space. So we need enough room for the door to open, the door to swing flush to the wall. I've been thinking a lot about the design and what changes can be made. So I reached out to my landlord and he has agreed to let me do some changes that I wanted for not only us, but for future tenants, as long as I'm keeping it in a very simplistic color palette and design so that it kind of works with everyone that's going to live here. Okay. Clean all day. Where do we where do we even begin? You know how excited I was when all I came home and I was like, oh my gosh, I have wood. It's like gold right now. And we need storage for all this stuff. I do not want to see this. It's so ugly and messy. <laughs> this is like not saying it. This is this well, is not cute. Forever, huh? We've had this for 13 years. Since when we lived in downtown Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. And then I've already cleared a space in my office for this cabinet to sit um, next to my desk so that all of my tools will be in there. We're just gonna take everything off and then kind of organize it by type so that I can reorganize it better than it's even organized in here. It's been a little messy over the last year of me doing projects. That was a relatively quick clean out. There's just a lot of stuff in here that we needed to donate. Now that we got the stuff out, we got to deep clean. I'll clean all the walls. We're going to paint in here and they don't even match the rest of the house. I don't even know what color this is. And I didn't even realize this was like repaired and never painted. And we've lived here four years. You can tell how neglected this area has been. Are you ready to deep clean? Yes. Erasers do wonderful things. 
So this is actually cleaning up a lot. After talking to my landlord, because this was like a major change, this is not like a renter friendly, I can change back kind of change. We are going to remove this bottom cabinet and the granite that's on top. This cabinet really isn't a lot of storage. There's no shelf here and there's just a drawer and we've never really found any use for it. This cannot move, this has to stay because this is all the hot water heater. But that doesn't even need to move in order to make this happen. I just need to remove this little shorty so that I could put the washer and dryer side by side and we could do a long countertop on top of the washer and dryer. We're also going to be putting cabinetry that matches these on top. So I got to call the cabinet lady that he used to get these cabinets to see if they're in stock. Fingers crossed. We don't want the cabinets up top to go too far towards the wall with the window on it because that's the whole point of this redesign is to really let in the natural light and have the window be exposed there. So we're gonna keep it to just two 18 inch wide cabinets up top. So it's gonna be 36 inches wide. We have to paint the space and that's really like the first step in kind of transforming the, the design of the space so i have a few things that we're going to kind of pick the paint color from you guys probably saw this in the rose bowl video look at this rug look at all of the pretty jewel tones love having a rug in here so when i was thinking about doing the laundry room i was like i really wanted to tie in from the breakfast area and the kitchen into this space and make it feel very cohesive and i really wanted some art in here so i had my mom paint me some art look how pretty this is you guys i'm obsessed she painted this i was like i really want a still life i love pottery and i want like something laying like linen how pretty and to complement it, I love florals. I love the wildflowers that she painted for the breakfast area. So white floral would be just really laundry, like fresh feeling for the space. That's what I was kind of go for. I am obsessed. I love it so much. And they complement each other so well. So I wanted a smaller one up on top. So we need to pull some colors from this so that it ties in with the rest of the spaces. But it's also this like very fresh, clean feeling in here. So a very special thank you to Benjamin Moore for sponsoring today's video. I love Benjamin Moore for so many reasons. They have over 35 hundred colors which really gives all of us creative freedom when designing a space because they just have so many colors to pick from and the quality of their paints are amazing at a great price and when you think about it paint can really transform a space here are some of the room makeovers and spaces that i've transformed with benjamin moore paints and i love using their color portfolio app too to really visually test out different colors in the space to get a feel for how it's going to feel and look and flow with other elements like cabinetry or countertops so I have some samples of kind of the color I want to go with I really do want it to feel very fresh and clean in here and tie in with some of the other colors that I've used throughout the house you can easily order paint samples like this from the Benjamin Moore online store that can be delivered straight to your house so we are testing out ballet white winds breath and natural cream I know that they're still neutral and white, but they do make a big difference and so many different undertones can really change some things. Existing wall color has a lot of pink. I see a lot of yellow in ballet white. I see a tinge of ashy pink in wind's breath and then natural cream is a little darker. Comment down below <laughs> which one you would pick. Romeo's pick was natural cream because it stood out the most. So we're asking my mom, because I don't do anything about my mom's opinion. Natural cream. Two votes for natural cream. Well, we're going with natural cream. Thanks, mom. Yeah. Can you say bye? Bye, guys. <laughs> and we're going to spend the rest of the day and the night painting the walls in this room. I'll find a home. The picture in my mind. A place where I can go. Good morning! I stayed up last night and painted the rest of the room just doing all of the edging work. This is actually Benjamin Moore's matte finish, which is a level up from flat. A really good matte finish to it, so it feels expensive and like designer. So I love this color. I'm glad we went with the dark. Romeo and I are heading off to a place that my landlord recommended, which is HD Supply, where they have prefabricated countertops. Okay, so these are the ones that he was talking about that are already prefabricated with the edges and everything. 
and we are lucky because we actually have a six foot clearance. So it's really about picking one that might look nice that's here or going somewhere else. So this one is Carrera. So it's like a marble look. It's six foot. It's exactly what we needed with the backsplash already. Okay, so here is the one that we picked up. She said I could return it. It wasn't obviously what we wanted and what we were looking for. So this was the lightest, least busy, surprisingly, option that they had at HD Supply. I have even called around to so many other places trying to find um, something a little calmer. Here's what the granite looks like before and that is also what's in the rest of the house. So we want something that's going to be complimenting. I sent a picture of it to my landlord in the space where I think it complements the white color and the gray floor really well. It's busy. It kind of fights with the existing granite coming from the kitchen. So we are opting for an all white version. So it's just gonna be super clean in here so that we can add some fun decor. So we have to get this cabinet out. Demo time, we gotta get this one off. As gently as possible. I'm telling you, bro, you need something demoed? Call me. <laughs> bro, it's all about just figuring out how something was put together. And once you do that, you find all the little hidden screws, it comes right out. <laughs> okay, so because of the height of the washer and dryer and the countertop will come above that, it's going to hit the window seal of this. So I talked through it with my landlord and he wants me to just remove this bottom piece and it's gonna fit perfectly with the countertop underneath the actual seal to the window. Okay, so we're gonna go from stacked washer and dryer to side-by-side -side washer and dryer in three, two, one, what a major difference. We have never seen the washer and dryer down like this. We've never seen how big or felt how big the space could really be. Since this cabinet is really tall with a hot water heater and then you had the two stacked here, it felt so heavy in here. Like everything was like soaring over you and big and bulky. I'm in love. We're gonna build the boxes for the cabinets and put oh. those on the wall and then add the doors in after. I got my set finder, I've got cabinet mounting screws to go into the studs, and a leveler. Ah! Leveled? Oh! Jeez! Oh <laughs> wow! Nice. So good! Wow! Dang, it already looks good. Grill storage in the proper place! Oh my god, it looks so good! Okay, <laughs> that made me sweat a little bit. I had to make sure that these were exactly level and perfect. And then we have four shelves that we can position inside to organize all of the laundry things. So we need handles. So I actually have the two handles from the cabinet that we removed for future tenants. So this is actually a really renter friendly kind of hack or renter friendly thing that you can do. And it's what we did in the kitchen is we swapped out all of our handles. We didn't have to drill new holes. We got the same dimension, which ours are five inches, the same dimension, but instead of the silver color, which I'm not a silver person and I wanted to enjoy my kitchen for the last five years, we did black. So I ordered another set. It's actually oil rubbed bronze, it just looks black and they're gonna look like that and then it'll match the kitchen so it'll all flow really well together so we're gonna drill some holes in the new cabinets and replace and swap the other ones ah. and so am i the only one that needs a cabinet for all of our candles i love candles and they always ended up on that cart not anymore okay 
So I'm having to make a little bit of modifications to the countertop, um, but super simple because it's already a perfect size. We're just kind of going around the moldings to make a really clean finish. And I'm gonna use my jigsaw, this one, to kind of get around those edges. That was um, a little bit difficult. I think what I should have done is install the countertop first and then the cabinets. It just made it a little more difficult, but we did it. So a little caulk around the edges, you know, just to make it look like super clean. I have this gold frame that I got from the flea market. Like you guys saw, it has a little bit of canvas in it. There's just some places on it that are damaged. This is like a perfect fit for my mom's art for this one, which I love. For this art, I have two options. I have this one that looks a little more rustic cabin, but it still has the gold detailing, or I have this frame that's all gold. That would be with two gold frames. This would be with one gold and one more rustic, which I think looks a little more interesting. Comment below which one you would do. Kinsley, are you picking? Are you picking? Frame them exactly like I did the ones in the gallery wall. And it was a super simple process. I just used some foam core board that's a quarter of an inch thick. You can pick this up anywhere. You can actually eat at the dollar store. I cut it to size to fit the back of the picture and then I just tape it down really well with masking tape or some tape that you have. I finished up the art last night, so it's finally decorating day so that we can bring some character and some warm tones into this space because all of the cabinets, all of the countertop, the laundry, everything is so white. So I'm really glad that we went with the darker paint color, added a little more depth in here. Look, you guys. When I found this frame at the flea market, it was damaged. So I had to fix it and I want it to go on the bottom because we have the two that my mom painted. I'm so excited. The other frame was really good. I just had to clean it up a little bit, but it's roses. It feels very fresh and very, like a laundry room to me without being overly feminine. So I want this one. What? Love. Love. Still can't get over how much sunlight pours into this room with the window not being blocked off. It was just like not it. It was not designed well. So something else that I really wanted to do in this space, I don't like these blinds. They're all over the house. I'll never put them in a house that I own. These. They're easy to remove and put back when we leave. So in the living room, I removed them over the couch because I really wanted a curtain there. And I'm gonna do the same thing in here. I wanted to see if I had any fabric that we could incorporate into the space that I've used in other rooms so that it's really cohesive. So I have this fabric, pretty and textured. This is the fabric that I used for the drapes in the living room. I made those. This would be the coloring. It would be super light. Or I have the raw linen that I used in the pillows in the living room. So it would equally tie in and it's a little darker. I think that this is the win. But obviously we could close it for privacy, but we could kind of tuck it back to the sides to let in the sunlight. So it's, you know, multifunctional. Look at this countertop already coming in handy. I've never had this much countertop, ever. Oh, that is hard to tell. Look for you and everything. I see, I wonder if you ever find yourself still thinking about me. While we're on the topic of fabric, I just cut another piece that I'm just gonna hem around the edges to hide the plumbing, like the water, and I have like this little space where I can put our reusable bags right next to the back door so we can take them grocery shopping and stuff. Maybe Velcro this piece of fabric back there so that it just kind of hides all that. It looks a little more finished and polished. Since this is a laundry room and I want it super functional, I don't want to over decorate. A little bit of decoration here and there, but overall keeping the countertop really like clean and there to be space so that we could use it and fold things. Also have other little functional things throughout the space to make it even more functional. So when I was originally designing this space, I was working so hard to figure out a spot for a rod. I feel like there's so many uses for a clothing rod or a hanging rod 
in a laundry room you can hang up your stuff when it's dried and then take it to your closet or you can line dry something like hang dry something and Romeo does that a lot the only space that I can think of that's not gonna be in the way and that exists is this space between the cabinet and the window so instead of putting more holes in the wall and figuring out some kind of contraption for hanging I just got this shower tension rod from Target it was really inexpensive I think it's a good first step if it doesn't and it's just there's not enough tension then we can look into something a little built in so to speak i mean it feels good yes i think it's worth a shot right it's worth a shot so one thing that i really wanted in here was a place somewhere to hook our broom uh, th the cleaning things that are tall that kind of just sh get shoved in a corner so I got, this could also totally double as a like coat hanger hook from Target. Wasn't very expensive, $12.99, but I thought it would work here stuff but it's in a light wood I liked its shape so I went ahead and got it but I'm not a fan of the lighter wood and I want to bring some warmth in here so I'm thinking we're gonna stain it it's unfinished we're gonna stain it in English chestnut which I've used throughout the house so it kind of brings that warm wood tone into this space too um, so we'll just let that dry a little bit and then we'll hang it up so I picked up a few things and I gathered some of my thrifted finds from my office that I've been kind of saving for something special so that we can play around with the decor in that space. But again, I don't want it to be over decorated. I feel like it's just gonna be in the way. One thing that I thought I was like, oh, well, it would be kind of cool to have some kind of lamp in there on the countertop, put it on a timer or something. It would turn on when it got dark. So when we were coming home through the back door, like we would, you know, we'd have a lamp, but then I have no access to a plug. So look, well, I like the warm color of this lamp that I found, but I was like, where's it gonna go? Like. Okay, it's too tall to go underneath the cabinet, which is kind of what I where I wanted it. But here, here, no plug. But I do have all of these kind of fun things. These were kind of like the colors that we were going for so that we could do something over here kind of in the corner. I felt like eucalyptus was really fresh and kind of felt like a laundry room. I thrifted this pot for I think five bucks, some rich kind of tones in it, but it's still white and speckled and organic. I also found these vintage Clorox and Lysol bottles, these amber bottles from the flea market a while back. I think I paid $8 for both of these. I felt like it would bring some richness into the space a little bit. I also, have these wool balls that replace dryer sheets and they just stay in this little like canvas little tote energy saving eco-friendly and reusable but i didn't want them in this canvas bag anymore they look like this i have some gray ones and i have white in here ah! when i went thrift shopping i wanted to find a container that i thought that, that would be pretty but i didn't want it just clear glass no texture no design or anything and i found this one and it was really pretty and textured i felt like it looked a little more vintage and interesting i'll just kind of you know you guys still so in love with this rug you have no idea the colors the colors i can't i can't get over it it's moved perfect in this space to really warm it up and give it that jewel tone warm and I love the idea of a rug in a laundry room because it just it feels more comfortable and you're not just standing on tile floor I think we're done I never thought that I would be standing in our laundry room and there would actually be space and it be functional never I thought it was always gonna be a storage unit wow
you guys enjoyed this makeover as much as I have enjoyed being back in LA. There are no other spaces to make over in this house. It's done, it's truly, truly done. But I did wanna come back and just tackle a project that I think was long overdue. So of course, as always, if you guys love DIY projects, DIYing your own home renovation or home decor and everything in between, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification so you know exactly when I upload every Sunday here. I also upload an additional video or sometimes more over on my vlog channel. So if you guys like behind the scenes or more shopping, videos definitely check that out as well we are headed back to Texas we have a lot of work still to do on the cottage I hope to make some major building progress so you're not gonna want to miss it so I will see you guys back in Texas next week for more renovation content stay tuned bye guys Baby, what are you doing? <laughs>